At my core, I'm a runner, but I wasn't always fast. Here in Wrightsville, Georgia, it's just a little town. It's where I grew up, and I got real fast. I learned discipline, faith in God, and the value of hard work. I learned about sacrificing the things you want in the moment for the future you know you can have if you work hard enough. I've been a lot of places, but in Wrightsville, I learned important lessons. If you want it bad enough, you work for it, you can get it. The 1982 Heisman Memorial Trophy, Herschel Walker. You might stumble, make mistakes, but you only fail if you give up. The politicians pick American against American. Rich versus poor, black versus white, urban versus rural. I don't believe in that garbage. It's a lie. I'm a conservative, not because someone told me to be. I'm a conservative because I believe in smaller government, a strong military, personal responsibility, and making sure all people have the opportunity to pursue their dreams. That's an America worth fighting for. My name is Herschel Walker, and I'm running for the United States Senate. I'm a kid from a small town in Georgia who's lived the American dream, and I'm ready to fight to keep that dream alive for you too. You know who I am, and you know what this is. I'm Kevin Grace, and this is an episode of The Grace Period. And The Grace Period is where I rant, rave, inform, investigate, educate and entertain you about different topics happening in the world today as you can see the topic today is just say no to Herschel Walker as you saw in the opening um, monologue episode I put uh, his campaign ad comes off as very charismatic and likable but let's dig deeper under the surface. This guy doesn't just have skeletons in his closet. He's got a whole graveyard. The guy that you thought is a hero, football hero on the gridiron at uh, University of Georgia, he's got a whole bunch of baggage and he's a liar. Let's go to what I'm talking about. And on social media, when the Daily Beast reported that Herschel Walker uh, paid for the abortion of a girlfriend in 2009, he uh, was on Fox News, denied it actually took place. It set off a firestorm. And who actually was at the center of that bonfire? His son, Christian Walker. He, of course, uh, has been trashing Democrats and others for a number, for a long, long time, defending his father, supporting his run, defending Donald Trump. Well, it looked like Christian had enough of enough. And man, he sent out these tweets blasting Herschel Walker last night, saying that the whole the entire family told him not to run, uh, that all of these things were going to come out, that he was sick of him as well. Herschel then puts out a tweet where he saying, said that how he loved his son. I tweeted back, which one? Uh, because uh, even his son said, oh, look, how many all new kids popping up every other week during this election? Well, today, Christian Walker, after yes last night's controversy he put out a scathing video attacking his dad again watch i stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed i stayed silent when it came out that my father herschel walker had all these random kids across the country none of whom he raised and you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence surprise because it affected me that's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values, people, he has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? I have a silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter, he lies about it. Okay, I'm done, done. 
everything has been a lie. And so for the right to say, I'm being suspicious for saying, hey, I'm, I'm done with the lies, when you all have been calling me saying, is this true about your dad? Gosh, we're not gonna win Georgia, this candidate all, that's been you. You have no idea what I've been through in my life. You have no idea what me and my mom have survived. We could have ended this on day one. We haven't. I haven't told any stories. I'm just saying, don't lie. Don't lie on my mom. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed and act like you're some moral family man. Y'all should care about that, conservatives. And then for people on the left to act as though I'm responsible for all of the things that he has done. I've talked about Father Epps, I've talked all these issues because they've been close to me, because they matter to me, because I went through it. That's why I've talked about it. So when you say, well, talk about your dad, but I am. I'm saying this behavior is atrocious. Don't come for me. You don't have to like my politics. You don't have to like me. You don't have to. I'm just saying I'm done with the lies. We were told at the beginning of this, he was going to get ahead of his past, hold himself accountable, all of these different things, and that would have been fine. Go ahead. He didn't do any of that. Everything's been a lie. Everything's been downplayed. Everything's been cutting corners. The whole thing. And who, who is, whose expense is that at? Me, my mom, as we're chased down by the media, uh, we're, we're terrorized, all these different things. Uh, uh, people are questioning my authenticity. I'm done. Don't lie. Don't put this on me. You, this is a candidate issue, not a me issue. I wouldn't have spoken out if there weren't all these lies every day. Wow, those are strong words from his son, his own blood, Christian Walker. The way that he dealt with his mother, he threatened Christian's mother uh, domestically, pulled a gun out on her, and then, you know, later, um, Herschel Walker has talked about that he's had some uh, mental illness problems and he's gotten it taken care of, this and then the other. And uh, he's also an absentee father. He's got some other kids out of wedlock that he hadn't even talked to or doesn't even have a relationship with. So he's trying to go off of that family values situation. He's got a lot. <laughs> he's got a lot of nerve. Let's hear another black mark against Herschel. Trump endorsed Senate nominee in Georgia. Herschel Walker has been one of the worst political candidates we've ever seen run for Senate. Just yesterday, the second woman to say that Walker allegedly pressured her into having an abortion gave a press conference. She appeared on camera, though she did not disclose her name. At the presser, she came forward with what she claims to be new evidence supporting their relationship. See that picture there. I should tell you, Walker says this woman is lying. NBC News has not independently verified her claims. But Walker has said that he supports a national ban on abortion. He has called abortion murder and does not support exceptions for rape or incest. This is precisely the kind of vetting problem that everyone in Republican circles was warning about back when Donald Trump handpicked the former football star and celebrity apprentice contestant to be his chosen Senate candidate in Georgia. But it's not the only big problem with Walker's candidacy. There are many. But another one is that he doesn't really live full time in Georgia. Like failed Pennsylvania Republican Senate candidate Mehmet Oz, Walker's a carpetbagger. Now, it's true. Walker has strong roots in the state of Georgia. He Played college football at University of Georgia, won the Heisman Trophy. But today, a new report shows Walker is getting a tax break on his house in Dallas, Texas, one that is intended only for a primary residence. Walker's campaign did not respond to a request for comment from New York Times. We've also reached out and have not heard back. So it is a sin and a shame that this election now is running, going to a runoff, which is going to be December the 6th, Tuesday, December 6th, but they just started early voting in Georgia. And of course, the Republicans were against any type of early voting, especially like on a Saturday and everything else, because that would mean uh, a lot of minorities would come out and vote. And yes, you do have two minority candidates, but um, if they can tilt the situation into their direction, that's what they'll do. But they lost on that appeal. So early voting has started. And uh, it's a shame that it's got to even come down to this, that, again, I guess name recognition and that he's Trump's guy, that this guy is still looked at. And uh, the governor of um, Georgia, Kemp, he won his election and he was still on the same ticket. Now, if Herschel was that strong, you would think other people would have, he would have carried 
the whole ticket Republican wise or whatever. Now Herschel stands by himself and he's definitely going to be exposed. And like I said, people are talking about him everywhere. Like I said, you've got negative stuff from his family. Um, a whole bunch of different people. Like I said, now, like I said, he's talking about werewolves and vampires in movies. Let, let's see if you think I'm lying. Let's check this clip out. He devoted more than two minutes to analyzing a monster movie he watched on TV. Somehow trying to tie it to the Senate. Take a look and see mm -hmm. if you can do it. I'm going to tell you to keep the faith. Oh, you ever watch a stupid movie late at night, hoping it's going to get better, don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway? Because the other night, the other night I was watching this movie, I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some type of night, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires and cool people, are they not? But I'm going to tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? I never knew that, so I didn't want to be a vampire anymore. I wanted to be a werewolf. But then anyway, as I'm watching this movie, and then you can tell how stupid it is because it's one in the morning. So I'm watching my TV, uh, these kids watching their TV, a uh, vampire kill on their TV. So you know it's kind of stupid, but I'm still watching though. As I'm watching this show, what was funny, these kids had a vampire in their attic at their house. So they were watching their TV. Now I'm watching my TV, as they're watching their TV, or they see the vampire killer on their TV. So they win this contest to bring this actor. Now y'all gotta stay with me. Bring this actor who's a vampire killer from that TV to get rid of this real life vampire in that attic. So as this actor comes to their home, he got all the right stuff. He got all the right stuff because you know, you gotta have a state and gotta have a thing to, to kill him in the heart. And he got a necklace of garlic, cause that worked. I don't know what it does, but it worked. You gotta have a cross, cause it burned, I know that worked. And then all of a sudden, this is what was so funny about it. As they're walking through the house, this, 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 this guy has got the holy water. He's blessing the house, this actor. Now, he's all fake. He's blessing the house with his holy water. They walked upstairs, and this vampire looking real good in this black suit. Whoa, that sounds like Senator Warnock, doesn't it? Looking all good in this black suit. Floated from the ceiling. He floated from the ceiling looking good and cool. And I'm thinking, whoa, they better get out of that house. If somebody float from your ceiling, get out of that house. That's, that's not your house. But as he floated from the ceiling, the kids jumped behind that hero. As they jumped behind that hero, the guy jumped in front of him with this holy water, threw it on the vampire's forehead. He covered his eyes. And he took his hand away. He started laughing. And he said, that don't work. He took the cross, he put it on the vampire's forehead. And the vampire didn't even do anything. He said, that don't work. And that's the way it is in our life. It doesn't even work unless you got faith. It is time for us to have faith. We got to have faith in our fellow brother. We got to have faith in this country. We got to have faith in, this, in the elected officials. And right now, that's the reason I'm here. Uh, that's, I got it. that's why you're here. That's well, good. you know. Really? Willie, I've got to say, it's some rambling incoherence taken to Olympian levels. <laughs> I mean, but, but that is really, that is, that is what Donald Trump has brought to the Georgia Republican Party. This guy is the worst stereotype of a black man. He, he can't put coherent senses together. He sounds like Mushmouth off of uh, the Fat Albert gang. I remember seeing that cartoon as a kid growing up, but horrible. He doesn't have a command of the English language, doesn't have a command of um, these different topics at all. He's just going to be a puppet from for the uh, GOP to say yes to whatever they want. So, unfortunately, some people just go off of name recognition. This guy has no background in politics or, or anything. And I think he's claiming that he graduated from University of Georgia. That wasn't the case. And um, he even thinks that he's a police officer. Take a look at this uh, badge that he's flipping. He is the butt of different jokes from different comedians and stand-up artists everywhere. Saturday Night Live has a field day with this guy. Take a look. The Senate runoff in Georgia, Herschel Walker was on Fox News, and he had a bit of a slip-up while talking about the election. Listen to this. Well, first of all, this election is more than Herschel Walker. This election is about the people. Somebody's excited about the runoffs. Uh 
So did you understand what he was talking about? And like I said, he's not putting together coherent sentences. He could be suffering the effects of uh, early dementia or from playing football, all the different hits and everything else. I'm not making fun or being facetious, but that is something to think about. And you're talking about he's going to represent a, a state in, uh, in uh, the U.S. Senate. Think again. We really need to have people that know what they're doing. Now, he is running against Reverend Raphael Warnock, who was minister at um, Ebenezer Baptist Church in Georgia. Now, you know, all these Republicans keep saying, oh, you know, the Christian values, Christian values. Why wouldn't you vote for Raphael Warnock? And uh, he did come in to um, complete the term of the last uh, person that uh, left out. Now this he's running for a whole complete six years, but there's no skeletons in his closet that I that I know of. So why would you not want Raphael Warnock? You're talking about Christian values and everything else, and you're seeing uh, Herschel Walker with the kids out of wedlock, not taking care of them, and not putting together coherent sentences. If he was a Democrat, Republicans would be all over that. All over that. But, again, once it serves them and their purpose, then they'll spin it whichever way they want. But, anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe down below and feel free to leave any comments about Herschel Walker and the runoff election on Tuesday, December 6th. And like I said, yes, vote no to Herschel. Voting began this weekend after the state's Supreme Court denied a Republican bid to block voting on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. As many as 22 of the state's 159 counties let voters cast their ballots on Saturday. The runoff between Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker is next Tuesday, December 6th. Meanwhile, Senator Warnock is out with a new ad that shows voters just simply reacting in real time to Herschel Walker's puzzling campaign just, speeches. Just, just handed him the they mic, just, said, here you go, Herschel. Talk. They just play the video yeah. for them and oh, mm. take a look. Here we go. You ever watch a stupid movie late at night, hoping it's going to get better, don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway? Because the other night, the other night I was watching this movie, I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some type of night, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires are cool people. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> is he serious? Is he for real? But I'm going to tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? What is he talking about? I never about? knew that, so I didn't want to be a vampire anymore. I wanted to be a werewolf. Oh, my gosh. He's talking about vampires and werewolves right now. Yeah, y'all serious about this, right? So I've been telling this little story about this bull out in the field. What on cow. earth? And three of them are pregnant. There's no substance. There's nothing. So you know you got something going on. It makes me want to laugh, and then it makes me think we're in trouble. But all he cared about is kept his nose against the fence, looking at three other cows that had been blown to him. Now all he had to do is eat grass. This video is ridiculous. I asked 35 seconds of my life I'll never get back. Why would I want someone like that leading the state of Georgia? I was good at it beside the float over to China, bad at it. Unbelievable. So when China gets out good air, their bad air gotta move. It's all the same air. Not only does it make no sense, I don't even understand what he thinks he's saying. So it moves over to our good air space. <laughs> and now we gotta clean that back up. I sit and watch these on Twitter and I'm like, what the heck is this guy talking about? Like literally, what is he talking about? He's completely unqualified for this really, really serious job. No one's watching this and being like, oh man, that guy's got it together. And sometimes like I read through the comments cause I'm like, is anybody actually understanding, or are we just sitting here wasting time? It is embarrassing. Let's call it what it is. It is embarrassing. They just care about getting a yes man, somebody that had just punched the button. I think it's a risk to me and millions of Georgians to put this man in a position of power. Let's call it what it is. This is embarrassing as hell. At all. I mean, well, you know, 